All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a uh, Canva account and how to create a motivational um, Facebook post, basically. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to go to canva.com. Next, after you go to canva.com, you want to click on sign up. And uh, you can sign up with Google. I'm going to just sign up with email. Um, so I'm going to click on sign up with email. And I'll just create a... Um, I'll just use Scott Headley as an example. And then... So there you'll type in your email that uh, you want to sign in with on your, <clears throat> and also they'll have you verify with a code most likely. And then just come up with a password that you'll remember. And then just click on get started. Next it says, uh, please enter the code we sent to this email. So I'm going to go to my Gmail for this demo account. And there it is, Canva. And here is the code 8746688. And then hit done. And what will you be using it for? Yeah, you put small business, that's fine. You know what? I'm gonna just hit continue for right now. Or you could hit skip up here, up at the top right hand corner. And I'm not going to use uh, the Canva Pro. Um, you can if you want to start your trial, but it'll tell you right here um, what the Pro. I'll just put maybe later. And I'm going to skip past all this. Again, you could fill in everything if you want. And then start your first design. I'm just going to... Um, I'm just going to type in Facebook post, or actually whenever I put my cursor in there, it pops up as Facebook post. So I'm just going to put Facebook post. So it's going to open up a new window basically, like if you need to go back to the home screen, you just go up here to the top left, or look for wherever your home screen is, you could be in different places, but um, so this is basically your home screen, and um, you could click on what will you design, you could do social media up here if you like, and then there's Instagram post, Facebook post, Instagram story, your story, WhatsApp status, that type of stuff, so I'm just going to use Facebook post uh, on this particular one. And I'll show you the dimensions. There's a, a 1080 by 1080 pixels, and Facebook is 940 by 788. Pretty close, so um, you could really use probably Facebook post for both of them, but this will fit perfectly inside of a Facebook post. All right, so once I click on it, it opens it up. Yeah, I'm just going, you go through your tour or whatever, but, um, and then you kind of go down through here, and it says here's for you, see all coronavirus see all so you can kind of just go through here and let's just take a look we got birthday Facebook post you can just kind of look down through here sporting events so what I would do is um, I would put uh, you know a quote Facebook post and see if uh, that has anything. And boom, here we go. So quote, Facebook post. Now how I came up with that is I just took this, they put the subject in front and then end it with Facebook post. Subject in front, Facebook post. So I'm trying to do a quote and just put Facebook post. And you kind of go through here and see what works best for you kind of go down through here so let's just um, I don't know, let's pick something simple if you hover your mouse over it you see where it says free 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 
And then some of them are going to be, you know, you have to have a pro account. But let's just choose this one. We'll go simple with this one. All right. And I um, guess you could use something like that. Or what you can do is I like to go to google.com. And if I'm doing a motivational Monday, um, so I'll do motivational Monday quotes. And then there was one even that said for work. So for work. And then let's just take a look. Motivation determined and ready to slay the day months lay. I kind of like that. I love Mondays. Um, life offers you so many doors. It's up to you to which one to open and which one to close. This is your Monday morning reminder that you're amazing. The only way to do great work is to love what you do. Monday is a state of mind. There's some ads. I don't like any of these. I like this one. Monday sets the tone for the week. Be a beast today. I like that. So um, so I go over here and basically I click on the wording and then I could highlight the wording. What was it? Monday sets the tone for the week, I think is what it said. Monday sets the tone for the week, period. Be a beast today. Here I can put be a beast today. And if I want to, I could highlight that and then go up here to the top. And here's like the different um, text or what they call font. So here's some popular font. I could put that if I want. It's really hard to see. I could do that. And then if I like that, I could go up to the font size and I could hit the plus to increase it. And that looks good. All right, and so basically, if you move it left or right, it's hard to see it in this one, but there's like it'll show you where it's centered and everything. So this looks pretty good. Now, what you can do is you could publish it to Facebook, but I like to click on this right, uh, these three dots up in the upper right hand corner. And that is pretty cool though, that they have the Facebook page. I'm just gonna download it to uh, to my page or to my desktop. So I'm gonna click on, uh, I'm gonna, it suggests to do a PNG. And then right here, if you have pro, you can do transparent background, you compress the file, but uh, this is completely fine for me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on download and then I'm gonna say it, save it to my uh, desktop. So I'm going to save this to my desktop, and then there it is, Monday sets the tone for the week, and I'm just going to desktop this and save it. Perfect. All right, so now I got this set up, and that is how you set let me go ahead and do another one just in case. Select this one. It's kind of cool. It actually, uh, it actually automatically inserted it in there. So this one I might want a little bit be a beast today. And then right here, I could, if I hit delete, if I highlight this image and hit delete, um, and then I can look for photos. So I can put, let's see what this shows up. 
I like this one too. Heck, you could even use that one too. So you can just go through and check out your templates and see which one that you like. And then let's go ahead and download this one. It's very, very easy to change out this stuff. And then you just click download. Save file. You know what? A lot of people do work out on Monday, so this is not a bad one. And that's how you create a Canva account.